you know, I I'm reaching. I'm gonna get into this in the in the longer uh, podcast. In the, the I'm I I'll I'll, I'll get I'll get there. Th- th- this is this is the normal okay podcast. But in the longer podcast, I'm gonna get to the um. What's been going on this week? No, I've got great stuff in store, but you're going to have to watch the longer one if you want to find out. The longer premium. You look up, uh, I don't know. It'll maybe be, just watch, stand, pray, WSP, something. I'll tell you what's been going on. But I'm getting to one of those points where I'm having to decide where I will go you know, next. You know, you finish one project, clear your desk. Uh, what's the next thing we're going to take off the shelf and put it on and... Um, I, you know what I could do? I, I, I could deal with this vacuum in space where, where it makes my hand disappear. See that? Isn't that? It's, it's like, where is it? You know. As I'm evaluating the things that I'm coming up against and in what I've, I'm supposed to deal with and, and what's all next in my life, I'm having... I'm having that moment where I'm, I'm needing to say, you know, what is it that I've got to let go of? You know, you've got too many projects in your life. You've got, you've, you know, a business could have too many pet projects. They could have too many departments. They could have too many little brand things that they own. And, and, and you've got, you know, things you want to do. And you, and you realize, you know, we've got all these projects we want to deal with, but it's it, it's it's not on mission. We, we've got we've got to stay on mission. We've got to narrow our focus. And Steve Jobs, when he went back to Apple, he sold the museum because he wanted to put the past behind him. And yeah, he didn't trash it, but he sold it. He just get, got rid of it so he could look and focus on the future. So that that little decision time, that little you know moment of. Which direction are we going to go in? Am I going to go here or am I going to go there? I'm getting to that point. I'm, I'm having to look at what priorities are, are more and less important. So, I, you know, I'll, I mean, I, I, I suppose I could talk about more details because I, I don't get into the details of my projects in, in this particular podcast. I, that's, that, that, that's in the uncut the uncut for the day. But, you know, the thing is, when we want to ax something, we never like it. You know, over here in Asia, I run into families all the time where mom and dad just get it set in their head. You've got to be a, you know, fill in the blank. Whether it's a doctor or it's an engineer, you've got to be this. And I'm like, well, you guys like not paying attention. Like, it's amazing to me how many parents don't pay attention until after they've been parents. And they're just, they're know-it-alls before the marriage, early marriage, early childhood. And then the kids turn into teenagers and they start to talk back and hit back. And it's like, gee, I don't know what I'm doing. Duh. You know, you know, so I, you know, look, look, talk, talk to any professional teacher, talk to any daycare provider, anyone that watches the kids, anyone that's a teacher in school, parents don't want to listen. It's so sad. And when you get to that college thing, I'm over here in Asia and I, you know, I've got friends all over the place and these parents get it in their head. It's got to be this. I've got to do this. And, and I'm, I'm going, oh my goodness. It's the same thinking in business. It's the same thinking with an organization that doesn't want to let go of those little pet projects costing lots of money. A Moody Bible Institute had, had projects like that. The nonprofit organizations, local Christian congregations. There's only one church. I can't say churches. Local Christian congregations. So many different things have so many different um, just distractions, things that we, we our hearts get all excited about, and I've got to do this, and I want to do it, and I'm going to do it now, and I, I, I've got to, you know, and we reach 
we reach that point where our attempts have failed, we're past failure, we're no longer able to do the thing we originally wanted to do, and we have to accept where we are and no, I'm not going to be able to carry this project anymore. So I, it, you know, it, it, it happens everywhere, whether you're choosing college or whether you're, you're, you're trying to choose, you know, which extracurricular activities to be involved in as a student or what your business company, your organization needs to do with family. You know, what, how many different things do you really want to add onto the house? You can't do them all. You got to choose. And it's like, it's like when you get to that, it's like when you get to that place of saying, where am I going to go? It's like you discover the answer that wasn't what you wanted to hear, but you know it's the right answer. And it's, and it's, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to mean getting rid of things that you like, but maybe you know, doing six feet instead of 10, uh, or maybe nine feet instead of 10, or maybe two feet instead of 10, or uh, n not doing it at all. Not, no, no, no second garage. You, you know, if we don't buy the snowmobiles and we don't need the second garage, and then my kid can have the tennis court that he's always wanted, which is just going to be a, a flat part of the lawn or something, you know, you, you, Whatever the project is, you know, looking at things the best responsible way forward. Well, I, when I get to the point, I'll talk more about that. But those decision times of what to focus on, that, that, that's like life skill. That's like looking at the priority that's really important. Heart probing, soul searching, it's, it's all part of it. I mean, a, a company a, or even a government you know, look, look at gov North Korea has these huge roads that are totally empty, big, tall buildings with nothing inside, unfinished, just um, empty, unfinished cement walls, you know, you know, these, these caves where there's supposed to be a room and a door, but it's just, it's just this frame. It's a, it's a cement frame and they, they have this and it's, it's not that you know, I, I'm not going to trash talk North Korea because I don't fall into, you know, like it or not. I, I don't trash talk. Even if I don't like something, I won't trash talk. It was this group think, oh, it's North Korea. Let's say bad things about it. I don't, I don't do that. I, I hope the best for North Korea. I like the progress that I'm seeing. But every country can end up with these projects that, that can cause bankruptcy. We need to scale it down and, and build the thing that we need to now that fits the need now. Prepare for expandability by building the shed a few more feet away from the house or a few feet closer, but, but don't, don't build the big, huge end product project thing that you're going to need now. Just look at what your scalability needs to be. And those decisions, are only as strong and solid for countries, businesses, organizations, families, anything, friendships. They're only as strong as much as the leaders, the people in charge are willing to search their own souls. I should just probably get to the point. Moving forward often requires placing our favorite pet projects on the chopping block to move forward without them. It's easy to see which projects need the ax, but accepting so proves more difficult. Right away, we know what costs more and can't carry its own weight, which projects don't sow good karma, so to speak, and which ones generate the necessary buzz of a freemium business model. The keepers stay afloat, being able to generate lift. Some things need carrying in their beginnings, but you can only carry so much baggage. Acts, whatever weighs more than you can carry. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.